Hey everybody, Shabba here, back from another video, and today I'll be showing you how to change your character size in Roblox. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to View. If you're already on like Home or something on the top tab, you can go to View. And then you can go to the properties and explore. These will pop up on your screen somewhere on there. And then these are where we're going to be using to insert parts and insert scripts and stuff. So now we're going to go back to home. Click insert a part. And then this is what we'll be pressing to change our size. So you can scale it however you want using the scale and move tool. You can move it around. I'm just going to make it like this big. And make sure to anchor it so you can't push it around the map or fling it. So just click the anchor button up there. Now you can right click the part in Explorer. That's why we opened it up. This will pop up. So just insert object. And then this will pop up in the middle of your screen. Now, you can go to Script, and now this will pop up, and the script will be inside of the part like that. So now we're going to get coding. So we're going to want to delete this. Now we're going to make a variable for the button, so you don't have to write script.parent every time. So local button equals script.parent. So it's going, from, it's going to go from the script and then to the part. So that's what the button's going to be. So now we can press enter twice. Now we're going to make it so the character changes size whenever they touch the button. So button dot touched connect function hit. So you're going to press enter at the end and then this end should pop up right here and it should look like this. Or you can type it out normally if it didn't appear. So now, you're going to check if it's actually a character. Because we don't want anything to just touch it. Like, if, like this falls on it, and it makes an error, and breaks the script. So we're going to check if there's a humanoid. Because a humanoid is inside every single character. So we're going to go to local, humanoid, equals hit, dot parent. So like, from whatever it hit, and then the character, if it was a character, then find first child, which is a humanoid. So if there is a humanoid, this will return a humanoid. If there isn't, it will return nothing. So if humanoid, then this should pop up, just like the function thing. And now we're gonna change the size of it. So, we're going to check if we can get the names right. So, we can go to play. Because it's a, it's something inside of the humanoid. So, you can go to workspace. Your character. Humanoid. And then all of this should be here. If it's not there, then the game settings are incorrect. So, you can click game settings in home. Go to avatar. And then click R15. And you can cancel it or save it. It wasn't like that. So we can go back to play. So we can find the name of what we need to change in here. So we're going to do the same thing. Go back here. Humanoid. And then all of this should be here. So all of this will be changed depending on your character. So we can change all of this inside of the humanoid. If we change it right now, you can change the size of your character and stuff. Stuff like that. But we need the button to do that. So you can go back to the script. And now, we can go humanoid dot whatever you want to change, like body width scale dot value. This needs to be here, also it won't work. Equals whatever you want it to change to, so like, maybe like two. So 
perfect. Now whenever we touch the button, our width or whatever you changed changed will go to the value you changed it to. If you wanted to change like the total size, you can copy this hovering over like that, right clicking, then copy or control C on your keyboard. And then you want to dot height, depth, and head scale. So you can change these in between. So it should look something like this with your with any value you put here. And then the head scale is a bit different because you don't put body at the start. It's just head scale. That's about all for right there. And then click play. We can go and press the button. And look, now we're bigger. And you can also change the body type scale if you don't want anything. But yeah, it could just look like the max is one on the type scale. I didn't even put anything in between zero and one. And if one doesn't do anything. Now, if you wanted to like increase the size every time you touch it, instead of just putting out like this value, you can copy this before the equal sign. You can get rid of the whatever whatever number you put there. Then you can put paste or control V. This will pop up. And then you can put plus however much you want. I recommend not putting two or anything large. Like I put just 0 0.1 to make sure it doesn't increase it, the size too fast. Now you can do this for all or whatever you're changing. Like this. So it should be, it should look something like that if you're increasing the size every time you touch the button. And now we can increase our size as much as we want. Now you can get off the button and I'll stop increasing your size and you can stand on the button to increase your size. And you might notice that your walk speed isn't changing with your size. So it looks like you're walking slow. We can fix that. So we can go humanoid dot walk speed equals. So the walk speed is just like how fast you walk. And then you can change it to like plus 0 0.2 or I think like double whatever you put. And same for the jump power. Click play. And then the speed should match your size. It's kind of hard to match it if you're not multiplying the size. But we can fix that by just doing this. So you multiply the size and then you can multiply the walk speed and jump power like this. Oh wait, I forgot to make it not zero. So that has to be one. So hopefully the speed should be correct. If it's going double, then just half the thing after the one. And then the speed matches your size, but I got too big, so I have to I'm just going to make it go slower like this so I don't increase my size too fast. And that should be about it for this tutorial. If your head getting if your head is getting larger, then you might have like missed a value like this. 
or if anything getting larger than usual, you can just fix that. And here you go. You can become bigger by pressing the button. And yeah, that's about it. Make sure to slap that like button and punch that subscribe button. Peace. Check out my tutorial playlist in the description below.